Okay, now we're gonna show you how to carry out a wrist joint injection or a radiocarpal uh, joint injection. Actually, it's a very straightforward injection. Um, and certainly if you're new to ultrasound guide injections, it's one that you can get started with. What we find really useful um, is first of all, just to put the wrist into a little bit of flexion. Um, so you can just use um, a towel or something that's obviously uh, clean, uh, just to put the wrist into a little bit of uh, flexion, which will just open the joint up a little bit. And that can help not only with the visualization, but also to get the uh, inje injectate into the wrist. Um, I generally would inject a couple of mils of lidocaine or 1% lidocaine um, and probably 0.5 mils of depamedrone, but obviously it depends uh, exactly what I'm trying to achieve. So to carry out the procedure, um, it's good just to start in a longitudinal section. And actually, if you just line up with the radius, this is a nice landmark to find. All you then need to do is slide off distally until you start to see the end, so the distal end of the radius. You will need a bit of gel for this. And then as you, you can see there, you've got Lister's tubercle. And then as we slide over, then you'll see the articular cartilage. Um, and that's obviously the articular cartilage on the first ray, um, the first row of the carpus. And so that would be the scaphoid bone. Now, this is a really nice um, image that we can see here. And this is the uh, radiocarpal joint here. So this is the articular cartilage. This will be the joint recess um, and the capsule over the top. So if you do have a little bit of fluid uh, in the joint, then fluid is your friend. You can aim for that and that will go nicely into the um, target there. So if we look at where we're going to go, if you start with the um, probe in this sort of position, you can see that it's going to have to be quite um, a, a steep angle, which means you won't see the uh, needle tip quite so well. So actually, if you just come backwards slightly, remember the more parallel you are to the probe, the better you're going to see the needle tip. And you can see we could probably then come in at about 30 degrees or 35, 40 degrees, which is going to be a much better visualization. And you really don't struggle normally with this type of technique to be able to see the needle tip. So again, if we just break it into thirds, so this is one third, two third, three thirds. And if we just put the target between the first and the second thirds, then what we can do is this is going to be our target and we're going to go in at around 30, 35 degrees, I would say. Now it's important because we've got the bone here that we don't go uh, at too much of an angle down. And actually what we're gonna do is just start the needle just a little bit away from the probe. And instead of going in at that angle, we're just gonna slide underneath at around 30 degrees. And what we'll see very nicely is the needle tip coming down here. Now it's important that we do see not just the needle itself, but also the needle tip, because obviously that's where we're going to um, inject the um, uh, joint from. So it's important that we see the needle tip from here. So all we're gonna do is just line up with the middle of the probe and then we're just gonna go in at about 30 degrees. 